Hey guys, we are going to be going over graphing motion. So because this line is moving up the y axis, this type of line has a positive motion. And because it is a straight line, this is a constant positive line. The x axis is time, the y axis is distance on a distance time graph. This point where it's starting is called the origin. So on a distance time graph, the x axis, um, think of it like home. It's the origin of your line most often. So this particular object is moving in a constant positive direction away from the origin, away from your starting point. This type of line is a flat line, and this line is called a no motion line because on your x-axis, time is increasing to the right. Time is passing. Seconds or minutes are passing. However, your object is at the same distance during all that time. So because time is increasing to the right, but your distance isn't changing, this object is not moving. This object is at rest. So this flat line is a no motion line. Because this line is moving up your y axis, it is a positive motion, and because it is a straight line, this type of motion is called constant positive. Once again, this line is moving up the y-axis and is a straight line, so it is constant positive. This particular line is moving up the y-axis much faster than this line. So let's say this is three minutes of time that have passed and this person has only reached this distance away from home. So they're moving at a much slower pace because after three minutes of time have passed for this person, they are all the way up here and this far away from their origin, their home or starting point. So the steeper a line is, the faster that object is moving, and the less steep your line is, the slower that object is moving. This type of line is called a constant negative line because this line is moving down the y-axis, back towards home, your, your x-axis. And because it is a straight line, it is constant motion. So constant negative moving down the y-axis. Because this is a flat line, this is a no motion line. This is also a no motion line. Time is passing, but their distance is not changing. So as we're starting to go through this, I'm hoping that you will see and be able to describe the type of motion before I reveal the answer. This type of line is moving up your y-axis so it is positive motion. However, because it is not a straight line, because it curves, this is considered increasing speed because it is becoming more steep. It is curving up. So a curved line means the object is changing speed. And when you have a steeper curve, then that object is moving faster. So this object is increasing in speed. 
This is a positive motion. And because it is a curved line and it is curving up, it is becoming more steep. This is positive increasing motion. This type of motion is moving up the y-axis, so it is positive motion. And it is also curving, meaning that this object's speed is changing. However, you will notice that this object's going slower. It is beginning to curve towards um, a no motion line. If this line were to keep going, it might end up completely flat like a no motion line. So this object has positive motion moving up the y-axis, but it is beginning to decrease its speed because its line is becoming less steep. The less steep the curve, the slower the object's speed is becoming. This object is moving down the y-axis, so it is negative motion. Because it is a straight line, that means constant speed. So this is a constant negative motion. Time is passing and the object's distance is not changing. So this type of motion is no motion. The object is at rest. This type of motion overall is positive motion moving up the y-axis. And there are two separate curves within this motion. So this object's motion begins to decrease speed right here because their line is beginning to become less steep meaning more flat. So this is decreasing speed. And then at this curve, their motion is becoming more steep. Their line is curving up, which means this object here is speeding up. So this is positive motion, decreasing speed, and then increasing speed. For this type of motion, we're going to break it down segment by segment. So just this line segment right here is moving up the y-axis and in a straight line. So this line segment is constant positive motion. Then the object is moving down the y-axis back towards home. So and it's in a straight line, so this is constant negative motion. This is the flat line, so this is a no motion line. And this segment is moving up the y-axis again, so this is constant positive. So if you were to match a story to this motion graph, if this is the origin, and let's say the origin is your first period class. So if you are in your first period class, you begin to walk away from your first period class, heading to your second period class, and then you realize, oh no, you left your pencil. So you turn around, and you start heading back towards where you just came from, back towards your first period. Time is passing and you're moving back towards first period, and then you realize it's in your pocket. So you have stopped, time is passing, you have stopped and looked for your pencil amongst your belongings and you found it in your pocket. So then you turn right back around and you move on towards your second period class. So. A story does not show the actual path that that object is taking. It shows that object's distance 
away from a specific origin, a starting point. For this, we're gonna break it up segment by segment. So this is a flat line, meaning no motion. From here to here, it's moving up the y-axis in a straight line, so constant positive. This line segment is moving down the y-axis in a straight line, meaning constant negative. And this is a flat line, meaning no motion. This segment is moving down the y-axis, so it is a constant negative. This is a straight line moving up the y-axis, so constant positive. This is a flat line, meaning no motion. So constant negative, then constant positive, and then no motion. Overall, this is moving up the y-axis, so it is positive motion. However, it's curving. So right here, this curve is becoming less steep. It's almost flat right here. So this is decreasing speed, becoming less steep. This one is becoming more steep. It's curving up. So right here, this object is speeding up. So it's increasing speed. Then it is decreasing speed again, and then increasing speed again. This could kind of describe when you run around the track. Like if you are running the straights and walking the curves, you might be start out running and then you decrease your speed to walk around the curve, then you increase your speed to run the straight. You decrease your speed to walk the curve, you increase your speed to run the straight. This first segment is moving up the y-axis. It's a straight line, so this is constant positive motion. This is a flat line, meaning no motion. This is a constant negative line because it is a straight line moving down the y-axis. And this little baby segment is a flat line, meaning no motion. I am hoping that you were able to guess the motion once we were at the end for each segment. So what you are going to do is now log into Canvas and click the Learn button and complete both activities located there. I hope you guys have a good day.